Hello everyone. Let's continue the lesson. Sometimes the question of the chain rule is not the direct question. It might be in terms of problem base. Okay, look at other questions. Okay, let me read for you. At what rate the volume of a box changing if its length is 5 feet and decreasing at 4 feet per second? Its width is 3 feet and increasing at 3 feet per second and its height is 2 feet and increasing at 1 feet per second. To tackle this type of question, you need to understand about everything that mentioned in the question. Okay, let's find the keyword. Okay, the first keyword is about the question. The question asks you to find at what rate the volume, which volume, a box, all right, is changing if its length is five feet and it's increasing four feet per second. This is its width and this is the height of the box. Okay, so what we can do it here is we know that the volumes of the box is depend on a three parameter. Which parameter? It should be x length, x width, and also x height. Okay, alright. So, what you can do is you need to recall what is the formula to find the volume of the box. Okay, the volumes of box can be determined by the formula of length multiply with width and multiply with height. Okay, but it's also giving to you that the decreasing of the length is at 4 feet per second. So, means that the length here is respected to t, it depends on t, and here it depends on t. So, in that case is, you will have L in term of t, you will have the width in term of t, and also the height in term of t. Okay. So, the question asks you to find the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. It's the rate of change of the volume. So, you can find it V to the T, V to the T of W and V to the T from height. So, del V over del L, DL over DT plus del V over del W, DW over DT. And then the last one is del H over del del v over del h dh over dt okay some of the information is already given to you for example the rate of change of l is already given to you is decreasing at 4 means that your dl dt is negative 4 and then it's also give to you the rate of change of w with respect to t so dw over dt look at here it's increasing so it must be positive and then the last one is dh over dt is also increasing at equal to 1 so this one this one and this one is already have the value. Now we would like to find del V over del L, which is give to you W H, and then we already know the value of DL over DT. We find del V over del W will give to you L H, and the value of DW over DT is a 3, and then we have the derivative of V with respect to H, which is LW, and then we have the one value here. Okay, so now, you need to substitute the given value of the W, H, and L. So, what is your W? Your W is 3, 
so we have three here and then our h here is two we have minus four here we have l here is five we have h two three over here and then we have five for length and also the three four width and then one over here so you calculate here what you will get is 24 and then here is 30 and then here is 15 so what you will get here is 21 so the final answer is tv over dt is 21 with the unit of feet cube per second okay thank you very much i hope you enjoy the session